go on. And you got your skirt. There's also this headband that I don't know if it's gonna go on Cashew or her. Chloe, I think she that look makes her look too much like a gangster, right? Oh, um, I'm thinking about putting this on Cashew. <gasps> Luke was in your little Christmas outfit. Oh. <laughs> we forgot the leggings. Cashew poop. Hey? I know Cashew's here too. Cashew's here too. <laughs> Gentle. Gentle. <laughs> Christmas shoe for Seiji. I will link this little baby outfit down below for you guys. My first Christmas. Yeah, and look, Christmas ornament with Seiji's name on it. Hey. It's zero to three months, but it's a little big on her. You're just a little small girl, huh? You're a small little peach. Good morning. Oh no, she senses. Hey, Matt's been playing with her with these like cards. Hey, she really likes them. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, oh. oh Cash wants to come in on the party. Oh man. We got two sucky girls. Right? Two sucky girls. All right, this one does not want to go down for a nap this morning. So in the carrier she goes so mommy can do some things around the house. Hey? Hey? <laughs> She's gonna be my little koala bear. So it is Saturday, it's the weekend before Christmas. I can't believe Christmas is less than a week away. I'm so excited. Even though it's going to look really different this year, I'm just trying to stay positive and still be excited for this special time um, with our new baby, Sage, and just like seeing the family that we can right now. Okay. All right. She wants me to get moving. So I'm going to make the bed. I'm just doing a couple things to, uh, today. Um, I think we might wrap some gifts. This might just be like a weekend vlog because it's hard to film a full vlog now in a day with a newborn. Hey. Hey. But I put some jeans on. I have a Christmas sweater on. You can't tell because of Sage is covering it. She's ruining my Christmas vibe, you know? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and my smoothie is somewhere. I swear I don't finish drinking it until like noon. What time is it? It's 11.30. I gotta go get my smoothie. Smoothie, check. say no to making the bed he loves when I clean <laughs> she will not go down for her nap so I have her in the carrier nope she's stubborn like her mama the hat of the vlog hi vlog <laughs> oh Cashew loves to come in when we make the bed yeah, she slept a little bit on me I was talking to her and then she slept on me
these are the three oils I've been really loving I love this combination my mom told me about it lavender orange and thieves which is a blend of different like citrusy and spicy scents it's really nice um, around the holidays so I've just been diffusing that around the home okay we're gonna let mommy do her makeup I love that these claw clips are back in style. I used to have them all the time when I was younger. Success and baby sleeping. Perfect. <laughs> I also realized I forgot to put deodorant on today. So I'm gonna try to put that on while she's on me. I got my Pit Refresh. This is from my skincare line, BD Net Skincare. It's the best natural deodorant. Just go in with clean fingers. I'm gonna try to do this while she's on me. <laughs> the things you have to do as a mom. So this is actually one of our best sellers, this and the lip butters, uh, which are amazing, super moisturizing for the lips, and they come in like big, like chubby sizes, like kind of like a glue stick. Um, but you can get them as a pair, it's our best sellers bundle, um, but we also have this in other bundles or you can buy it by itself, uh, part of our subscribe and save option on the shop. So you'll save 20% off today and then you can pick your frequency that you wanna have it arrive to your house. It can be every three months, six months, yearly, whatever you like. And not only is it convenient, um, but you also save money. I will link that down below. All right, so there's a project I wanna do today. Let me see if I can find it. I've been seeing all over Pinterest and on Instagram, these like dehydrated orange slices and you can use them for like uh, Christmas garlands, decor, um, use them for gift wrapping, which is what I wanna do. So I have some oranges that I want to use. Um, so I'm just going to look up on Pinterest. I'll put what they look like on the screen. They're, they just look really cool, but I think they need to um, dehydrate in the oven for a few hours. So I figure I might as well get them in the oven now because I'm, I need to do my gift wrapping this weekend. If not today, I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing. And I thought it'd be fun to uh, use the orange slices. Oh, so cute. They also use them as ornaments for the tree with tied up uh, cinnamon. Okay, five to six oranges. I think I have a couple more in the fridge. Bake in the oven on low heat at 120 degrees. I'm guessing that's Fahrenheit for two and a half to three hours. Keep an eye on them to prevent them from burning. You're looking for a nice golden orange color. All of the orange flesh to be dehydrated. Halfway through the cooking process, flip them over so they're dehydrated on the other side. And then you just need to take them out and let them cool completely. That seems easy enough. Let's see if we have more oranges in the fridge. I can't remember. This one's really tiny, so actually I guess I could just do all of them. Is that a lot of oranges? Okay, I'm gonna get my station ready, cutting board, knife, get the oven going, and let's see if this actually works. <laughs> Three hours. I'm not going anywhere, so this is perfect. <laughs>
So I just have one of the silicone baking sheets from the shop and I just laid out some of the slices. I feel like I can probably squeeze a couple more in here. Cause like they're not gonna rise. <laughs> and pop these into the oven. All right, see you in an hour and a half. Wow, I really need to clean my oven. <laughs> So I just set a timer for an hour and a half so then I can check on them and flip them. And then the slices that I messed up on, you can just eat. I'll take one. Mm -hmm. I don't have them. Oh, yeah. mm. By the way, this uh, cutting board, we just started selling on the shop. It's really cute because it actually folds so you can easily just dump it into like your compost or into the pan if you're making like a stir fry. So I find it really handy. Uh, okay, so while the oranges are dehydrating, oh, I wanna do a little unboxing. We got a few uh, orders in this week, so I thought it'd be fun just to do a little haul. Uh, let me go get them, BRB. Yeah, Sage got a little Christmas one from a brand. Okay, so my scissors. Cashew's gonna supervise. Uh, this first one is actually my monthly order from Young Living. You guys know I am obsessed with their oils. I love the range that they have too. They have lots of really unique blends that I can't find like at other companies. And I love their packaging. They come in these like little cylinder cardboard cases. So I got some lime. I um, love this. I love citrus oils in general. Like you'll always see me diffusing them on Insta stories. Orange and lavender. Lime is something that I never used to think about getting. And then I would see people like diffusing lime on Instagram and stuff. And then I was just really inspired and I love it. It's so good. These are like oils I use all the time, especially every day, orange and lavender without fail I use. Uh, Stress Away, I love this. It's like this really calming, citrusy, sweet scent, kind of like vacation in a bottle is what people describe it as, and I love it. So that's what I got in that package. So the cool thing is, I don't know which one of these was free, but when you're part of like the monthly subscription, you, um, you actually get free oils and products every month. And money back to use for future uh, purchases. So if you know you're gonna use a lot of oils like me, then it's a good option because we go through stuff like lavender and whatnot all the time. Good thing she sleeps through anything because this is love. Okay, I'm really excited about this package actually. All right, this next one. Wait, I think I got a book from Penguin. So Penguin is actually my publisher in Canada. And um, one of the perks about being an author is that you actually will usually get books sent to you that are from like new authors that are part of the same publication. Uh, so this one's called Eat Good Fat. That's the book. It's by Lee Capitina. I don't know if I said that right. Featuring keto and paleo friendly recipes. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, grain free everything bagels with smoked trout spread. Ooh, it looks so pretty. This is like a Christmas one that Sage got. I think it's from, yeah, Hello Bello. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. Sage, just for you. Diapers, oh, I bet they have cute prints. <gasps> Are those dolphins? Oh my God. Little flowers. We got some bubble bath. She actually does like baths. I thought she wouldn't because she kind of doesn't like a lot of things. Uh, talc free baby powder. This one's just with that uh, cornstarch. Okay, we got what's this? Um, Everywhere balm. I wonder if I can use that on my my nipples from breastfeeding. Uh, baby lotion. Um, yes, yeah, so this company is actually, um, I believe, created by Kristen Bell and her husband, which I thought was really cool. So kind of reminds me of like the Honest Company for babies, um, but just another line. And their stuff is so cute. Lots of wipes. Wow, this is amazing. Thank you so much, Hello Bello. This is so sweet. Maybe I'll get Matt to help me put all this stuff away. <laughs> I'm like, I got the baby. I can't. I'm so excited about my oils. Okay, I'm like getting distracted. Okay, let's. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You don't like mommy's sparkly sweater? No? Okay. She ain't gonna be happy, but we're gonna do this really quick while she gets her diaper changed. Let's uh, put this away and then I'm gonna get uh, ready to feed the little monster. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Sometimes though. Okay, I feel like I've been sitting down here chatting. This is gonna be a long vlog. I'm sorry. I just had a lot of things that I want to unbox and talk about and do today. So, what do you think, Cash? What do you think? Think your sister's crazy? Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm gonna go grab a snack, grab some water, get my station ready for breastfeeding, and I'll see you guys in a bit. I gotta check on those oranges. It's bad that we get jealous of the other person to be able to go to the grocery store. I know, I'm just like, there's nothing to box. do nowadays. Like, oh. I know. No, but it's like, there's nothing to do. I get bored, you know? Yeah. Oh man, wide-eyed drinking. Focus. That's like... All right, Sagey is chilling. Hey, <laughs> mommy's gonna be right back. Okay, you gonna stay with daddy? Yeah. All right, I am just about to head out with Brandon. I decided that I wanted to go for this errand because I just need to get out of the house. Um, but we are actually, I can't say what it is, but we're picking up a special present for my stepdad. So we are going together to go pick it up. We have to do like curbside uh, pickup. I can't say what it is because this video is going to go up before Christmas. Not that he watches my vlogs. It's more so my mom, but I want her to be surprised too. So I'm in a coat. I have a purse. Mama's going shopping, this is so exciting. It's really like a 15 minute errand, but I'm just excited to get some fresh air. And Matt's got the bottle warming, so there's breast milk that he can feed her via bottle while I'm gone in case she gets hungry, but she should be good. And we're trying to do like a bottle a day anyways, um, so uh, just for her to get used to it in case I need to leave or Matt just wants to feed her and have that bonding time, um, he can do that via bottle and she's already taken three bottles successfully successfully before that she would just scream and then there was a lot of wasted breast milk which was very sad okay i'm gonna go and get some fresh air do an errand a brb matt knows what to do with the orange slices i told them flip them halfway through and then hopefully they will turn out the way i envision and the way pinterest tells me they will <laughs> Ooh, okay we're gonna uh we're Going to try, is this crooked? Shh, that look crooked. We're gonna try to bottle feed her. She doesn't always like it. She prefers the real thing. Let's see, let's see. Hi. Oh, oh, oh milkies. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, oh. Yeah, oh, good milk. Mm. Give it a try. Give it a try. Yeah, not bad. Mmm. There you go. Yummy. Yummy. Oh, that's good stuff. Okay. I'm going to try something else here. So for lunch, I'm just heating up some pasta, meatballs that we made last night, and some green beans. All right, I had a fabulous nap. Oranges are still in the oven. I don't think they're done. So any blog that says it takes three hours, no. <laughs> They're still in there. I might even need to let them sit overnight on the counter to fully dry out. So I don't want to put them on the gifts while they're still wet. So we are pulling out our wrapping supplies. I got the gifts. Um, we might do like half of the wrapping tonight and then the rest, like the final touches tomorrow. Honestly, when you have a newborn, sometimes you got to just split tests up because you can't get it done in one sitting. Also, Sagey is, uh, she chillin'. Hey? 
So we currently have Bones on, which we've been re-watching old episodes. Um, I really like that show. And it's just like an easy to watch kind of show. Um, and then uh, I think we're gonna throw on some Christmassy movies. We've been watching a lot lately, so I don't know if we have any good ones left. Um, but there's so many now, and uh, yeah, I feel like you can literally watch a new one every single day. Hey, are you gonna be good? Are you gonna be good for mommy? Oh, look! She just had a nice poopy, so she should be good. Um, Matt's just taking a nice hot shower. And I'm gonna start uh, getting our supplies ready. All right, this is what I have. Um, I didn't actually buy any new wrapping paper this year. I have some from last year. I got some craft paper. I got some yarn and burlap stuff and just things that uh, I'm gonna use to decorate. I try to save a lot of wrapping um, things and decorations that I can add on to gifts so I can reuse things. So that's what a lot of this is that I'm gonna add on top. All right, we got Love Actually on. Let me get a gift and we can start. Okay, somebody, somebody's not happy. Switch you. Okay, how cool is this? I found a Marvel chess set for my nephew, Oren. He's like a very intelligent seven-year-old, so I think he's gonna love this. He loves like strategy games, but this is so cool. The, uh, that show, what's it called? Called Gambit? That show, The Gambit or something? I don't know why I can't remember. Anyways, that inspired me to get a chess set for Oren, and. I, the fact that I found a Marvel one was like perfect. Yeah. Okay, we're taking a little break. I might feed her, try feeding her again while we wait for daddy to finish his shower. So mommy can rap, because daddy's not a good rapper, huh? Oh. Do you want to say hi, everyone? Want to say hi? Want to say hi? Yeah? I know, you want everyone to play with you. I know, they. these two are both attention uh, seekers, huh? Huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, we got back up. We got Daddy on, on deck. Yeah, we'll see how. <laughs> see if I can finish wrapping. Dinner is here. So we got a veggie and tofu pad thai, and then they kind of look the same. And then this is a chicken basil fried rice. And then I also got these little shrimp, coconut shrimp fries. They're so good. 
Um, so yeah, we just got a little Thai food tonight. I'm gonna eat while Matt has sage and she's calm and then we'll switch. Update on the oranges. The ones that I did thinner are definitely looking a lot better than the thick ones. They still feel like juicy. So we'll see how they dry out overnight. Like, oh, that one's good. So you gotta do them really thin if you wanna have nice dry crispy ones, but they definitely need longer than three hours, just FYI. Uh, I'm gonna eat while Matt is actually changing the second poopy diaper of the day. He definitely got the bigger one, which I'm not mad about because I always get the explosive poop diapers. I love that I'm talking about poop as I'm about to eat, but you know what? Let's become a parent. You talk about poop all the time, so it doesn't phase you as much. I got some sparkling water and my dipping sauce. Like I said, we don't really order food that much. But, gotta treat yourself, you know, and also just support like local restaurants. I think this is like a sweet and sour sauce. Oh my God. Mm. So good. Matt, I don't know if I can share the shrimp with you. All right, so I thought I was gonna do all the finishing touches tomorrow, but I've already started since uh, Sage is kinda staying calm with me. I don't know, she's fussing a bit. Um, but this is kind of what I'm doing to each gift. So I'm just adding like ribbons and bells and like this one has a little holly on it. This one's for Diana. And then something that I am doing this year for the first time is for cards. I've never like I've never been a big card person. I just find like it's just something that people get and end up just like recycling or throwing out right after. So I thought this year would be fun to do little photos. So I actually just got these printed at like a Kodak machine at Walmart. So when this video goes live, you can, I mean, last minute <laughs> do this, I guess, right before Christmas. But um, these are the photos that we did for, uh, I was going to say Diana, um, for Sage's newborn photos. And we got some really fun uh, family ones. And we got a bunch of Christmas ones, which I'm going to cut and then hole punch. I have a hole puncher somewhere. Okay, it's around here somewhere. So what's really cute is you can get these mini prints with the white border, so they kind of look like uh, just little Polaroids. I'm gonna cut these and then just um, punch a hole out at the top and then I can string them through and write on the back who it's for. Actually, I might even write like to and from on the front with like a thin Sharpie marker, but I just thought that was so cute. So I'm gonna cut these. What's great is you actually have space on the white part to write to and from, so. These are gonna be our tags this year. And I just felt so crafty, you know, thinking of this idea. I may have seen it on Instagram somewhere. I don't know, I can't really take credit, but I'm very excited to be doing it this year. Also, now we just have it paused. We're watching Bad Moms Christmas. Um, by the way, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Leave me a comment down below. I'm curious, I feel like some people like comedies, some people like the novelty, um, like nostalgic ones. What's your favorite Christmas movie? I <laughs> can't even see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know, I have to think about it, I'll get back to you. Okay, Matt, we'll think on it. So I'm gonna keep doing this. I'll do another little time lapse, but it's gonna be a long vlog, but I don't care because you know everyone's gonna be at home and I know I'm gonna be watching like nice long Vlogmas vlogs. Not that we're doing Vlogmas, but I know you guys like long vlogs, so why not? Why not end the year with some cozy Christmas videos? Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna show you guys tomorrow what the final stuff looks like in good lighting, um, but I'm just gonna do a couple more. Oh my God, look at these. So cute. Oh, that one's gonna be, I have a little gift from Sage to Daddy. He doesn't know. Yeah, he does. <laughs> so I'm gonna use that one for his. What a good girl, she's drinking her bottle. Do you feel the bond, Matt? Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the mm -hmm. feeding bond. What a good girl. Yeah, you drinking your milky? Wow. All right, it is the next day. Um, we've had a really great morning, actually. Sage slept her longest stretch ever, five and a half hours. It's basically a whole night for a newborn. I was so happy I woke up. It was like two in the morning. We went to bed early. I think we went to bed like 
9.30, I don't know. Um, but I looked at the time because we have the app with our bassinet and it says like how long they've slept for. And it said five and a half hours. And I was like, what? Does this mean like she's gonna sleep like this every night? Probably not, but you know, one can hope. Um, anyways, I have been trying to dry out those oranges for like ever. They're still not dry. So I'm gonna have to wait to put those on the gifts. I'm just gonna let them sit out. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be here all day like chucking on them in the oven, in and out. So um, yeah, if you're gonna make those, definitely pat them dry before, like get all the moisture out before you put them in the oven and just know that they're probably gonna take like all day. Um, I don't know if there's like some tips or hacks on how to speed it up, but all those blog posts that say three hours, I don't believe that. So I'm just gonna finish up my wrapping. Matt just went out to do an errand. Sage is sleeping, she's having another nap. Like she's sleeping so good today. So yeah, Matt did, this one's for, uh, to me from him. I told him he had to wrap the ones for me. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish off. I'm gonna see what I can get done while she's sleeping. So I might do another time lapse. And then when Matt gets back, I think we're gonna do a little uh, family walk. So I put little sticky notes when I was wrapping them last night with the names so I did not forget. Um, also, these are just two little gifts for um, Cashew's cousins, Piper and uh, Rosie. So uh, we got them a little something. And yeah, I'm just gonna finish. I got a couple more to like actually wrap wrap. I just couldn't do it in front of Matt. And then, um, yeah, I'm just gonna do like the final touches and then I'll show you guys the final like reveal probably with the oranges and probably take like a cute photo for Instagram because you know, they've spent, I've spent so much time making those damn oranges. I think I'll probably use them as like potpourri after when they're done. Um, but yeah, let's, let's uh, finish wrapping these, shall we? Usually I would be listening to Christmas music, but Sage is sleeping and I want to hear if she cries, so. So that is all the wrapping I'm going to do right now. I have a couple more, but I hear Sage starting to wake up. So I'm going to go grab her, have a quick little bite to eat before we go for our walk. If I get any clips on the walk, I'll insert them. Um, but I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. I can't believe it. This year in general has just flown by, especially being pregnant. It really, I don't know, part of it felt like it went slow, but now looking back, I can't believe like, I grew a baby and now I'm a mom and it's just insane to me this year in general. So I hope you guys are just, you know, trying to make the best of this time and just spend it with, you know, who you can safely and just try to like find joy in the small things like gift wrapping or watching movies, uh, baking your favorite cookie recipe, just little things like that I feel like has what has been what's really helped me during this time. Christmas is like my favorite time of the year. And yes, I'm distracted with a newborn, but I think it's also important just to, like I said, embrace the small things and find joy where you can and just really enjoy time with your close ones um, during this time. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like long, cozy family vlogs. There will definitely be a lot of them in 2021. I hope you guys have a very merry and healthy holiday season. Merry Christmas and 
I can't wait to see you guys in the new year. I am gonna be vlogging Christmas Day since it's the first official Christmas for Baby Sage, so I definitely want to document that. That video will be going up next week um, after the holidays, so stay tuned for that. And besides that, I'll see you guys in the new year. And um, that's it. This is already a super long vlog. Okay, bye guys. I'm gonna clean, clean this all up. <laughs> or wait for Matt to come do it. I mean, I wrapped. I feel like it's it's only fair that he cleans it up, you know? Okay. Bye, guys!